it feels as though we are progressing towards ourselves. And truly, you know, we'll look back on these centuries of, like we do in the 1800s and 1900s, where time still feels real and that still feels like it happened before, right? As if we've come out of that period and we're moving towards a future. And as a future you that's looking back to this and wondering just how, how do they allow themselves to feel that way? How do they allow themselves to be that limited, that barbaric in their society? But truly that future self is here. That future is now. Because there's only here, and there's only now, and there's only you. So it's all a grand illusion of return, right? But you you gifted yourself this reunion because you wanted to know what it felt like to come to a planet called Earth, which is the, it's the planet of veiling and forgetting. It's the thickest, densest planet I've ever come across that has this level of disconnect from who you are being the only one infinite creator. Just one pure, seamless being managing to, to fractal itself up into all these different expressions of life. And so the journey that seems to be this reunion, the reunion is always with yourself, right? Even if we talk about twin flames, your twin flame is the parts of yourself that you've not yet accepted. That is your twin flame. This other partner, this counterpart, it, even if you project it onto others, is always you. Because there's only you here, right? So the the illusion is this kind of progression, but actually, you're pulling yourself back to eternity where you've always been, right? So if you identify with the one being guided, sure, you'll feel like you're going through life going back. But truly, as soon as you, especially in fifth dimensional consciousness, where time just completely drops away, and there is just this real opening into just the colours dancing and everything is just light. As Walter Russell says, everything is pure light. And there's no time here. You could say even matter is frozen time. You know, time is very condensed down light into a feeling of return. And so now your soul has this knowing of what it is to return. This, what it is to be so blissfully re- discovering of your infinite capacity to create whatever universe you want in your mind because truly you've gone nowhere that's the illusion that you've gone out and ventured into the forest of duality but that's impossible except for the belief and the thick overlay that it is possible so all you're dealing with really is a transmutation of the belief in the possibility of all of this becoming something other than a thought in the one mind. So how do we navigate this then? If it feels very real, right? What do we do? If it feels like there's time, it feels like there's space. Well, we're on the verge and we always talk about this timeline split. But you can just sense now there's this big division going on. And one of the timelines is is really the Christos timeline, the crystal spiral, whatever you want to call it, the organic consciousness template, where the souls have been choosing over the lifetimes of what, what, you know, truth or separation, really, uh, oneness, unity, and separation. But because the two timelines are overlapping, we, we seem to be on the same planet. But this is slowly, this is why the division feels so volatile at the moment, because we're slowly creeping away now to the point where a certain point, this is true, just true physics, you won't be able to even perceive that reality at a certain point. But in the moment, we're in the bandwidth where even those in the different timelines are viewing each other and viewing this conflict. It's almost as if those that are choosing the separation, choosing division, choosing chaos, can't even comprehend the words and the lessons from unity because they're so programmed in this other grid just to kind of function within time space mind hoarding they don't even listen they're not like they're like tuned to a different complete radio station a complete different programming that doesn't even take into context anything other than mine me and safety and security and they live on this strange automated system that completely blocks out any other sound so I'm sure you've, you've noticed this and I'm sure you've realised that the best thing to do is not to preach, not to even try and convince anyone, but to shine your light 
and many people will not even um, be able to hear. Let me just turn this off. So what to do? Well, what feels very painful is this stretch out of the timelines where you can almost sense sometimes it feels so harsh, some of these, especially walking in a city, these vibrations that you think that you know, the illusion is that things are just going to get better and better and better, and they are. But actually, things sometimes get worse when you start to feel just your frequency picking up into this unified Christos, crystal spiral that feels so good. But then when you then come into interference with this stretch or the temptation to go back into this smallness, the temptation to go back into this solidity of duality, that's when you, the choice points are there and it can feel very harsh on the nervous system that's readjusting. Because you're activating so many... Um, you're activating so many different aspects of certain templates within your DNA that are lying there dormant and, and latent and they become activated in these higher frequencies when really even if you were to try to do this 100 years ago, 200 years ago when, when the energy was so thick and dense, it just wouldn't work. But now we find ourselves in a position where the timelines are becoming so split and you can just sense this picking up of the frequency, if you're on this video anyway and you're not completely scared away, then your frequency will be at a point where you can even hear this and embody it as you are and join me in the same uh, seeing that we see beyond the veil. So I wanted to also bring a message of don't worry if it feels like there's this big stretch and the nervous system is trying to catch up because if you were to go any faster, your nervous system would collapse and you would not even get out of bed and there wouldn't be any lessons, it would just be complete over exhaustion. So what we're seeing here now is this return, bringing it back to what I said at the start, back to eternity. But if your being was to see eternity in all its glory, all its brightness, you wouldn't be able to handle it all at once. This is why we have dimensions and densities and we slowly ungrip ourselves. Even though it's all accelerated now, we slowly ungrip ourselves from the belief in time and the belief in space. Really, space is time, outpictured right, moving towards something, right, separate from something. But it's just not true. And if you have fleeting moments for that, it can activate and allow energy to come up, right? So what we've got in the bottom of our spine, the Shakti, traveling all the way up this Kundalini, you could call it, but really it's just, it's just life force, right? All the way up. And you're, you're literally at this point activating and having visceral physical secretions in the pineal gland when this shakti is allowed to the sophia and the christos is allowed to alchemize and come together to be revealed really as the one we have literal physical changes in the body the hormones the pituitary gland the pineal gland the secretion of dmt your body is so intelligent it has so much wisdom in it it's, it's a template that's been reified and ready for you to step into in this incarnation for your ascension lifetime to step into the astral planes step into the light body while still being embodied within this beautiful intelligent wise everything's in the organic structures of the body the christos template that this is what the christ consciousness is your body is a consciousness organic machine but let's take away machine because it's very masculine. It's a chariot. That's, do you know what I love? The word chariot is what, it's, it's something in Latin that I absolutely love. Because it means like light body. I can't remember what it means, but chariot in Latin is, is a beautiful demonstration of what it means to step into. Because the, cause this chariot to the higher realms, your physical body can't get into these higher realms. It has to activate the ethereal, the astral body, the light body. Um, and it's a whole intelligence setup all the way up to the pineal gland and this is why we, you'll start seeing the christening of the race take over uh, duality or undertake and, and be completely engulfed by this golden light that the whole race starts to step into but the forerunners are starting to see this now and the christening of the race is just that it's obviously it's like a the best infection of anything <laughs> it's not a virus it's a it's a beautiful unfolding of Christ consciousness throughout a race where then nothing can stop because this is what I love, right? We tend to say good and evil and the evil are going off and the good are getting Christed. Once you see Christ, and I don't mean Jesus, I mean Christ, Christ consciousness, there is no evil here. 
Even the most evil beings that you think are in the world are playing a role for the awakening of humanity. That's the illusion, right? You've got to get mature about this. We can get in this battle all day long. That is a 3D, 4D battle, right? Because on one level, you've got to point out, discern and have a full disclosure of what's what's really been going on in this 3D, 4D world. But once you once in that Christ consciousness in the fifth dimension, you don't see good and evil. Because there isn't evil. There's only God. But to say that before you see that in the Christ consciousness is to undermine the fact that there is a lot of uh, shady things going on in this realm. But the, the most potent reply to that, the most potent protest to this choice of duality within this realm, even though you're choosing unity, is to shine your light as thickly and as brightly as possible in your own sovereignty as a God sovereign being not attached to anything not attached to any gravity of this world that is your biggest protest and usually it will be silent usually it will be a silent protest and when you need to speak up speak up but the most powerful demonstrations are your sovereign choice to not be disturbed by anything outside of your own and when you do disturb others it's usually because you're so bright that they have nothing left to give but to surrender into that in themselves in their own heart because when you're living in your heart you are an active demonstration and a permission slip for others to live in their heart and if someone's not willing to do that in your presence they will reject you and they'll project onto you and it's your job to not fight back but to stay in the heart and to shine even brighter because then they'll be pushed into a corner to really make a decision of what they want to choose but if you succumb to anger you succumb to resistance and you try and beat them on the same level and you're trying to even beat them as someone other than you you've lost them a chance to fall back into the heart as well as well as strengthening your conviction that nothing else works than unity and seeing christ nothing to do with jesus nothing to do with religion to do with the unity of seeing a unified being the representation in each race of the unified being that is the christ and then you don't see the evil that you thought was there because that belongs to the lower realms in the fifth dimension what is evil when there's only light you can't it's not all light and love all of this bypass it's literally there is only you there there is only you there in the room if there's only you there in the room where's the evil because all good and bad exist within you and you encompass the whole of duality but don't try and talk or see that until you've embodied it and you see so clearly that there's only you here there's only the one infinite creator deep into your heart and at that point you realize there wasn't even a journey back to christ back to the one infinite creator there was actually just an image that went out and you were stayed completely eternity there it's impossible for separation how could time ever be anything other than a thought in the mind of eternity how could space ever be anything other than opinion how exciting is this though to actually look around and feel the existence of a reality that's not seamless eternity there are souls queuing up to come experience this level of um veiling this is the planet of forgetting. Nowhere else can this be this dense. And we talk about fallen angels and we talk about the evil, but they are providing the space. They are just as instrumental. Whether you say, you know, they're evil, the souls, there's people out to get you. They're providing such a darkness for this duality even to come into being. Without it, there would be no planet that could be this much of an adventure. So you've got to get mature on that level of one discernment you can reject the darkness and by reject i don't mean not accept it within yourself i mean say no to the temptation of division that's the true rejection of darkness is that to actually accept it as not external to you but a choice point in yourself this is when when i say the planet of forgetting i really mean the planet of free will seeming choice 
It's an experiment. Everything in this universe is an experiment. Everything is creation. Don't forget what create means. A true artist doesn't even really know what they're going to create. It's a complete mystery. That is the mystery of love. If you knew what you're going to plan, the amount of times I've tried to plan a piece of art or a film and I thought, you know, the best thing to do is just to go out without a plan. That is the way that the creation frequency works. You have a very adventurous soul to be here. And to put that into the flames of just needing to everything to be planned out and solidified is to go against everything that you are, which is a creative, infinite, indestructible being that is just exploring itself, the one self, in its myriad of ways. So these evil beings really are created in your mind to experience a, a choice point between deceit, between um, separation, division, duality. And the most, some of the most courageous beings are the ones that took that uh, role in order to provide this dense pocket of the universe, to wrap themselves in, in deceit, delusion, and really to take on a level of self, self-hatred that allowed you to feel that same level of rejection of source. And you've still found your way here, which is the b- brightest frequencies of just pure Christ consciousness out of all of these decisions your soul would have had over the millennia of, of seeming time. You slowly started to remember who you were. And one day, you realised all of that was a dream and you've never been anything other than who you are and that day is now <laughs> and these new earths these are divine new earths there's, there's, there's loads of them they're all on different frequencies but you will stop experiencing the denser pockets that we see around the world at the moment even if you're in the middle of it now or you see it on the news or whatever we are seeing a slow shift to the point where, you know, as a human, right, we can only see a spectrum of colour, like red, yellow, orange, blue, green, violet, whatever. I can't even remember that's the right thing. There's going to be a certain thing where your bandwidth is going to be so different. There are colours we can't even see, right? <laughs> Electromagnetic waves, infrared, uh, stuff like this. When souls choose a denser, denser, denser on the Fibonacci spiral compared to this crystal spiral, we're going to be so just not you can't even see let's say you can't see beings right now that are around that are so high in frequency because they're out of our perceptual range of senses it's the same thing at that point you don't even see other you're just so aware of your connection to source the one infinite indestructible being dreaming of duality all right i love you all happy sunday